Welcome to Career Journeys, a series of videos by the Consortium for Public Education. Here we explore the career experiences and pathways of professionals from a wide variety of careers to help you think about the skills you'll need and the paths you might take after high school. Hi, I'm Debbie Pixton with the Consortium for Public Education. Today I'm interviewing Joe Armbruster, Superintendent at Mascara Construction. Thank you for joining us, Joe. Thanks for having me. Joe, tell me about Mascaro Construction and your role there as superintendent. What does a superintendent do? Okay, so Mascaro Construction, we build a wide array of projects. We work in healthcare, schools, sports facilities. Um, and as a superintendent, I am responsible for managing those projects. So I do everything from safety audits uh, daily and worker assignments. I form teams and manage the manpower. I'm responsible for updating the schedule and assuring the project's on track and coordinating subcontractors. It's a real busy day. Uh, it could get a little hectic, but it, managing everybody and making sure all the pieces are in line is the main scope of my job. Did you always think you would work in construction? I actually did not. I started out of high school um, as a paramedic firefighter. And I did that for several years, and I realized that it was not a good fit for me. Um, at that time, I got into the Carpenters Union Apprenticeship, and I completed that four-year apprenticeship, became a journeyman carpenter, and worked as a journeyman carpenter for a couple years, and was given some responsibility as a foreman. And then from a foreman, I went into a, super, a superintendent position. So what do you enjoy most about being a superintendent? So I really enjoy the challenges every day. Every day is unique. Um, today I could be helping assemble a tower crane that's over 100 foot tall. And tomorrow we could be pouring a couple hundred yards of concrete. It's very diverse, keeps you moving. Um, you deal with different people every day. And at the end of the day, you see a project that you completed that you had to hand in that will last for you know over 30 years and, and it's awesome to see people enjoy the buildings you develop and and build. What are some skills that make you particularly good at being a superintendent? So by completing the apprenticeship through the union I was able to get and develop the hand skills understand how buildings are put together um, it's a lot more than just nailing pieces of wood together. And while I was doing the apprenticeship, I also went back to school for construction management. And that gave me a unique skill set of being able to develop and manage schedules and budgets and leadership skills. So those combined really give me a well-rounded knowledge of how to complete a project. Give me an example of a solving a problem quickly on your feet or working with journeymen. Tell me what that's like. Okay, so on the last project I had, we started a new building and we were framing the exterior of the building. And when we were doing that, we were planning on working in a clockwise motion right around the building. And as we started working that direction, we realized that due to the utilities and concrete work that we couldn't complete the framing in that direction. So as a superintendent, my responsibility was to organize all of the foremen, subcontractors, and we had to have a meeting. And together, as a team, we came up with a new process. We're able to frame the building backwards um, with everybody on board, and we were able to still maintain the schedule because otherwise, if we didn't address the issue, we could have ended up about a month behind schedule on the project. So it was a major issue that as a team, we were able to work together. But that's an example of some of the challenges you face in construction. You could come up with a plan, put it down on paper. But once you get out in the field, it doesn't always work. And you have to be able to adapt and overcome that. What kinds of things should a student in high school do either with their classes academically or in their extracurricular activities that can help them prepare for a career in construction? So career construction relies heavily on math and reading skills, um, but also developing hands-on skills through a Votech school 
or if you could do an after after school workshop if that's offered in your area. Um, not only does that give you hands-on skills, but it also helps you identify if you really enjoy it because it is hard work um, and it's very demanding, but if it's for you, you'll really enjoy it. You talked a little bit about going into an apprentice, the apprenticeship for the Carpenters Union. Can you talk about that experience? Yeah, so when I was on my way out as a paramedic, the Carpenter Union offered a test for entry. So I took the test and I passed their uh, entry exam and then went on to an interview and was interviewed, passed the interview and was admitted into the apprenticeship. The apprenticeship's four years long and you go to class for one week each quarter out of that year. So once in the fall, summer, spring and winter. In that week, you'll learn different things such as OSHA requirements. Um, you'll get certifications that you need to be out in the workforce. And you'll learn skills with co concrete and framing. And then while you're not in school for those weeks, you're out on the job. Me, for instance, I was working for Mascara Construction as an apprentice. And so you're earning a paycheck while you're doing the apprenticeship. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And then you said you went back to school once or twice for construction management. Can you talk about what kind of the, the, that kind of training and what was required? Yeah. So what I decided to do was once I became a journeyman carpenter, I really enjoyed construction. I wanted to be more involved in the project. And so the way I did that was I went to online classes um, and got a master's degree in construction management. And those classes consisted of uh, scheduling, budgeting, accounting, and gave me more of the administrative project management view of construction, which now I get to apply every day as a superintendent. What kinds of questions should students ask themselves if they are considering a career in construction? If you're considering a career in construction, you, you have to be willing to uh, one, wake up early and be on time. Uh, that, that is a big thing. And uh, it, it's long days a lot of times, so you'd have to be willing to work overtime or work as needed. It is a demanding job. Um, but you also have the physical stress of the job. Uh, it's, it's not easy. There's a lot of climbing ladders, carrying heavy items. So you'd have to be in, able to enjoy that. And you're working outside a lot of times. Um, so if you enjoy that, it, it is, it's an awesome career because, you know, you might be working in a hospital this week, but then you might be in a different location next week. And for me, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy moving around different areas. What's one piece of advice you would give to anyone aspiring to work in construction? My biggest piece of advice would be to work hard and really make sure before you you get into construction try it out and make sure you enjoy it and if you do enjoy it get as much hands-on experience as you can the hands-on experience goes far beyond any school experience um, you can't replace it and it'll give you a real cutting edge on anybody else in construction thank you so much for sharing about your experiences and expertise with us joe thank you For more information or to learn about other careers in the Career Journey series, visit our website and check back soon for our next installment. Thanks!